half, it's time to beautify our homes. Yes. We have do-it-yourself projects that will save you time and money, so take a look. <laughs> What's the problems in here? Oh, well, let's see. I've got a bunch of pictures that need to be hung. I have some holes on the wall. I have a leaky toilet, and I'm sure I can find some other things. How about this other thing? You forgot the most important. Mr. Coach Potato, who doesn't have to be here today. He's not even here today, no. so we'll put it we're right gonna there. We're going to put a little replica of Mr. Coach Potato here, and we're going to show you how you can do the stuff yourself and just leave him where he belongs. Great. Let's go do the All pictures right. first. Let's do it. All right, it's picture hanging time, but I see there's some holes in the wall. Should we take care of those first? Holes, plural, Lisa. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six holes, one picture. Why is that? <laughs> we'll cover that in just a second. All right, let's get to work. Okay, well, first thing we'll do, we'll get the picture out of the way, okay? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> there's 12 holes in the wall. Someone's been busy. <laughs> All right, Melanie, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to patch the holes. I'm going to leave one up there. Go out and get yourself a cheap putty knife. Mm -hmm. Just scrape them. Scrape all that excess off the wall so that when you patch the holes, you don't get that, those goobers. And then get yourself some spackling compound. Spackling compound will dry as hard as a rock, doesn't shrink, and it stays in the hole. You don't want to try to fill them first time. Just get a base. When you go to fill them later, you can actually just sponge over them. You don't even have to sand the walls. Oh. But you're not off the hook right now because I am going to give this to you and you're going to fix the second set of holes. Okay. All right? Give it a whirl. There you go. Good? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Smear and I'll just take it off. It takes about two coats to do this. Now, this is all water soluble, so later on you wipe it with a sponge, get rid of all the excess. All right, bingo. That's your first coat. Yay. You come back in a couple hours, put a second coat on, you won't have all those funky little holes in there. Just sponge it, sand a little, it's ready to paint. I'd like to show you first why you got so many holes in the wall. And now that we know that they can be patched fairly easily, I'm not gonna feel guilty about making one more in the wall, gotcha. okay? Most people just take a nail, and they go and they try to find it, and, right. there's, and there's no stud, and, and that's, and get you all the holes. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, you don't need that. Look, no matter where the hole is, if you use one of these, this is called a zip it. You can take one of these, whether the hole is in the wrong place or not, because this will actually go into a stud. Oh. We're going to use an existing hole that was wrong. Right. We just put that in the hole, screw it into the wall. Whoa. Yeah, Bingo. Then you take a screw, you put the screw into that. Now, believe it or not, that little one inch zip it will hold 50 pounds of weight. Sheer strength. You can hang a 50 pound picture even here. Even if you're not in a stud. Even if you're not in a stud. And speaking of studs, this <laughs> is a stud finder. You put it against the wall and you just slide it and it will go off when you get to the ah. side of a stud. That represents the side of uh -huh. your stud. A stud is an inch and a half wide. So right there. So I've got that much room to play with. Exactly. And right on. All right. What's next? What's next is in the other room. Let's go give it a whirl. All right, Mel, so now it's up to you. You think you're gonna be able to hang this mirror? It's heavy. I hope so, and I'm All gonna right. give you the tools to do it with. Okay. Bingo. Woo! the clearance and everything. Look how good you look in it. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, great. She did it. Well, you know,